Welcome guys at the Portfolio Tips and Tricks session with me and Rosa. Hi. Um, first, I want to uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ilse. I'm a uh, second year graphic design student. And this is Rosa. Hi, I'm a third year product design student um, and I'm a dual degree student. So I combine uh, Willem de Koning with uh, and study, study at Erasmus University. Today we'll give you some, yeah, practical information about the admission and portfolio first. And after that, we uh, will show you some work uh, and um, answer some questions that we get a lot and uh, tell you something about the prep course. So first, the uh, admission now is totally online. Yeah, so, so there are... Yeah, so there are dif different ways to do your admission and to show your portfolio. Uh, we will give some tips in that and to uh, show how you could present this, because this might be hard uh, to do. So to give already some examples, uh, this could be uh, maybe a video of yourself and your work or um, like a, two separate videos or just you and your work in it. We will give some examples to show that. Or this could be a PDF with pictures. Um, or you can make a website, Instagram, there are many different ways. And hopefully these, yeah. uh, these tips and tricks will help you. Yeah, so your portfolio um, can uh, have a lot of interests, different interests. So if, if I apply for the major graphic design, I don't only show my graphic design work. So I can also can show the experiments that I did or that I do pottery or make something in the fashion industry. So it can be really broad. Be aware of that you show who you are as a person and not only show the yeah, your, your major, because I think you're creative uh, in, in different ways. So show those ways if you have it. Um, that is a question that we really get a lot. I don't know if Rosa is also getting this question a lot, but uh, yeah. people are saying, if I do this question, can I only show um, paintings or drawings? Uh, no, you can show like everything that you made as a creative person. Uh, yeah. So that is... One. <laughs> yeah, I got this question uh, quite a lot. Um, and also, like, if you maybe have some kind of hobby, like you really love to dance, or um, I don't know, if you have another sport or something that you are really yeah. passionate about, uh, show that as well. Also, something yeah. that uh, is about showing yourself, you have to make a video um, of around uh, two minutes to introduce yourself. And um, in this, you can also tell something about you about yourself. So they really want to know who you are. And um, yeah. you can tell in this video why you think you would fit in the academy at WDKA. Yeah, and there are two uh, teachers that um, are looking at your work at uh, the admission day. So it's not just only one person. Two persons on, uh, are going to go through your work and uh, give your feedback. And there is not a lot of time, but there is time um, that they are uh, going to look at your work. So don't make it too big, but also don't make it too small because you have time. And um, it's if you show too much and we will come back later on this the 15 works if you make it too big then maybe they can't see the last work so that will be pity um then your three elements of your admission will be the the talk so an interview or an online questionnaire and the your portfolio include the 15 works and at the end the two home assignments that you can do so yeah that was the practical information yeah. Maybe one, so, um, yeah. a, a little time for a disclaimer yeah. uh, for everyone who's watching yeah. this. Um, we're just here, we're just two students from the academy giving some tips, uh, but it's not that this is the way to do it. Uh, we're just uh, doing this based on our own um, experience and um, yeah, try to give you some help. But uh, do try to make it as much your own as possible. What uh, will be in your portfolio? The, the key words I always use is uh, show sketches, show your process, try outs and experiments. Dummies. And dummies, yeah, dummies are, dummies are sketchbooks. <laughs> so you know uh, when we talk about dummies what that is. Um, yeah, we can, um, should we explain what what one work is out of 15 works? Yeah, first? I think that's a good one because we got this question a lot. So people are asking like, there's a maximum of works on the website, um, but what does count as one work? Is it one sketch or one picture or one book? Yeah, so I will show an example that we always use to explain this. Um, yeah, 
what is one work question. Uh, so for example, I had a lot of photos that I took, um, but uh, if one photo counts for one work, then I my portfolio was full. So this we will see as one work uh, consists of different elements within the um, one work. So um, this was an assignment that I gave myself to go outside for an hour, take hundreds of photos. And um, so you can see this as one work and not as hundreds of works. So that's a, yeah, a bit to uh, show you. And another example is that you can also show your experiments, your tryouts, your sketch should include that as one work. So what I did um, was show my sketches where I started with making it. Then step three was um, sort of close-ups. Step three was this. And then at the end, I made a sort of post with it. So hopefully you can see it. But there, so it's not only the posters that are counting as one work, but you can really show this whole process as one thing. Yeah, I think that's a really important one that you show your process. Also a question that's asked a lot, like what, what is a process? Um, yeah. And I think it's everything leading to that, um, to, the, to the final item you're making, or even if you're not making a final item, everything that you do on the way, um, while you're trying to make it. Um, yeah. So if you're showing one thing and you think like, oh, this is it, always think like, what went before this? What did I do? Even though it's not like specific sketches or material experiments, but if it's just like pictures that you looked up for it, uh, also include those. Yeah. Um, some people base um, their artworks or things they make on um, their own experience or emotions sometimes. That's what we see. Um, and uh, maybe write something about that if you um, or make a video about it uh, if that's your inspiration yeah and another thing that i found really difficult showing at my admission was that i tried a lot so i have a lot of small assignments that I wear that has no not really an end result but where experiments and triads so i make them as one work and yeah i showed them like this it's a sort of box with all my yeah tryouts um, on plastic, for example, or a little typography. It's yeah, it's a lot, but I showed it like in this box as a sort of chaotic way of showing it. But online you can really go through it and maybe make a video of it, like I do now. You can so also. Like what you showed me um, earlier, you can also put it on a wall or something, or on a table, yeah. like you did with the, the tips and tricks video before. Yeah, so these are all the experiments. Also made my own paper as graphic designer. So you can really show all your creative things that you've done, not only um, related to your major. Uh, we can show some portfolios of people, um, of actually our classmates and other people from the academy, yeah. how they did their admission. And of course, this is uh, still the, the, the physical admission, but you can sh see yeah. how they put it on the table uh, or what they showed. And um, they also, of course, captured it. So um, that's a way how you can show yeah, what you've made. Um, yeah. To show some show other that? examples. Yeah, we can show it now. So. You can see it here and here. <laughs> yeah, um, the question I had, like, how do I show my uh, portfolio online? I was really like, hmm. That's really like an other way of showing your portfolio than do it uh, at the academy. So I thought of what I should do was making a table, um, the same as uh, at my admission then, um, lay everything out. Then I would go into detail, like videoing my table, maybe um, uh, make some extra photos afterward and put that in a sort of PDF 
file uh, with links to the video uh, to YouTube or something that your file is not getting too big because you have a limit on that. Be another tip. Yeah, I uh, think if I would, um, maybe it's good to share what, what we would do if we would do our admission. Yeah. Um, I really like the part with wh what you said that making links. So maybe to make yeah. one document with links in it um, to separate videos or separate items and that you have some kind of overview where they can see, oh, this is it. Um, yeah. Maybe with some kind of um, introduction of myself. And I also like what you just did with your laptop. Like if you have something on the table and you do like this, yeah. you can already show it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and maybe you buy, uh, well, now I'm sitting in front of a lot of stuff. But if I would be yeah. sitting in front of a white wall um, or other color, um, I would maybe put it behind me so I can talk about it and maybe link. Yeah, like that. Um, yeah. Maybe make links with tape or rope, um, put text under it. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, something like that. You, you're able to put your focus on what you want them to see. We gave yeah. this tip before, like uh, for the, the example of flipping through a sketchbook or flipping through uh, an, uh, an image bank uh, <laughs> uh, that, that you can stop and pause at the pages that you find um, yeah, important or that you like the most. Yeah, and then you can also tell something about it. Yeah. For example, here you can stop and then you can say, okay, I did some experimental with layering and with color and and then you go through it and then it's like okay this is not important that much then you go through and then you say oh here i did some experiments with letters and you can even do a do a split screen i'm thinking now because i'm seeing like my, my own face and the sketchbook <laughs> so yeah this is an example of a sketchbook dummy so these are all sort of experiments that i did which are not all perfect and it helps you a lot to make not something perfect uh, i made a lot of collages um, and actually i just gave myself the assignments to do to make something every day so on some days i was like no nah, i'm not feeling it <laughs> um, so i've made something really quick uh, and on other days i spent more time on it um, and it was like yeah some things are really random, some are more like ideas. Um, yeah. Or here's Get a nice insight. Yeah. Um, yeah, like it's all combined stuff. Um, so you can show um, um, one of my um, archives that I made. Hopefully, it's, you will see it. So. Um, I just pick a lot of designers that I was interested in and it's really a lot but it takes me a while to make it so it's not just uh, only for the admission but I keep going making it so here are all the things that I, I liked so with names um, yeah I can go through it like this but this is an example of artists that I really like and then also I have an image archive of um, of things that I found on the streets, <laughs> like flyers, posters that I took from stores. Um, can be anything actually. Um, so these are things that I yeah that I picked and uh, took it home, and then I put it all in this uh, archive and just. And then, really cool. <laughs> yeah, and then my other archive um, is this one, and this is um, everything that I found um, in magazines. So yeah, it's just it has nothing to do with graphic design, but it still has to do something with graphic design because I use it as my inspiration yeah and also maybe something to um to mention is that your admission is um is not so only based on the the major you're applying to they're more looking at um three elements actually of your work to see that you're curious um that you have creative ability so maybe some sense of color and form um and um the other one is uniqueness i think well, yeah uniqueness so that you're um, yeah, that you're trying different things and experimenting. 
So this can be shown in many different ways, not just the way that um, suits specifically your major. So I also had an image archive. Um, I don't have it here now. Uh, it's at my parents' place, but uh, it was a bit like the, the last one you showed with yeah. pictures in it. Um, and something else that I do have here is I just made a list of, um, of designers that I liked and artists that I liked. And sometimes when I couldn't remember uh, what kind of art or designs he or she made, I made a small drawing of it to, oh, yeah. to remember it. This was not what I showed at my admission. This was an assignment that I have to do. I have to um, document my process, but I thought it was maybe nice for you to um, look at because uh, I put all my sketches, ideas, inspiration, tryouts in just one book. And this is a way to, for me to organize it um, easier for myself. So what was step one? Um, okay, it's for you. So here um, I put everything that I've uh, done for one assignment. Um, so all my inspiration, also like photos. Wait, I want to show this. <laughs> it's really big. <laughs> Uh, here that we are working in the academy with white suits like all sketches tryouts um, sort of inside of my head i just put it all in a sort of organized way to present it later so maybe that's for you also uh, a nice way to make an overview of your whole process from a to z um yeah that's was actually my process nice. and then i made uh, also like little notes on there and show that I was, well, yeah, it's like all the way around. Cool, but this was uh, something that you made at the academy already, right? Yeah. yeah. So here I'm, I'm making it, actually I'm making a lot of pictures of myself making it because then they see what you've done in the process as well. Yeah, I sketch a lot when I start. So actually it I start with sketching in the book and then I try to make pictures of it um, yeah. and I try to put them in there so I have my sketchbook here which I can oh this is also an example from what I already did at the academy can you see yeah. it yeah um, so I start with sketching and then I combine it with like pictures oh, yeah. of uh, what I find interesting that could suit to the project and and well I'll write something next to it some more sketches and I think in the meantime here, I start making as well. Um, because like this was a project about plastic and melting it and blowing it. Um, so here you can see the final result already. But I always okay. combine it with like my sketchbook with sketches in it and a process book. Uh, so yeah. there I make just like a chronological order of what I did on the way and the pictures that I took uh, and write something down to it to describe my steps actually. So that's something that you could also do um, maybe if you don't have pictures of it, just write down what you did and what your thought process was. Um, I can show a little part of this home assignment that I did um, for one of the videos for VDK Instagram. Um, yeah. So I did the home assignment, but I didn't do it with the goal to show something as an end result. So I just tried it and saw how far I could come. Uh, I don't have the material experiments here, but I can put some pictures around us <laughs> now somewhere. Um, yeah. So I can show the sketches, so I actually took, a, one of the home assignments was that you took uh, just items from your home and did something with that. So I took a Diabolo and I started making a lot of sketches of it um, to like analyze the shape and the color. So it started with just Diabolos um, and like what you do if you take them apart and if you split them, if you multiply them um, and if you manipulate the shapes for example uh, is it still a diabolo and um, yeah cut them in pieces i made like i think i'm like these things i also made in 3d to see like what could this be if you make um make them in 3d so if you are afraid of like starting making something physical right away maybe start sketching with it and see if you can make something based on that um i uh so did it on the wall with the source transparent. Um, what is that plastic? Um, plastic, wall. yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and then uh, I do it step by step. So first I started with something, then I took some little thing about yeah about that first step, and then I continue with that. So um, um, yeah, you can maybe I can put it uh, in this video so you can see all my steps from step one till step seven, and you see sort of my end result. But I thought my end result was more the whole steps that I took, not only the the step ten which I um, ended with. So um, for my home assignment, the whole plastic wall was my end result. And Rosemann and I also did the prep course in the beginning. Yeah. So before we uh, went to the academy, we did a sort of course. Um, I did a long one because I was not sure which major I want to apply and I was not sure of my portfolio. I did the smallest course. Um, so that's one like a couple of Wednesday nights. Uh, but yeah. still, it really it helped me a lot. Um, okay. But that one is more like meant for people who already have a lot of, well, not exactly who, when you already have some portfolio, and they help yeah. you to expand it a little more. And it really helped me in like starting to make more and also selecting a bit what I want to show because I had a really big portfolio. Yeah, and mm -hmm. um, the rest of the information maybe it's good to say. And now we're the we're talking about the website. Also on the website, yeah. uh, there's a portfolio checklist where you can check yeah. if you, um, yeah, what you still need for your portfolio or what it's what they're supposed to be on there. Um, yeah, experiment a lot, uh, try out a lot of different things. Don't stick to the major you're applying to. Um, yeah. If you feel like it, uh, if you. Um, and show yeah show yourself and what you're passionate and enthusiastic about and I think then it will be all all right. <laughs> all right, we're gonna round up I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank, uh, you. thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.